Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. It's been a wild and crazy couple weeks at the Woods Walker household. Uh, I got a new job, as you can see with the tie here. Um, it's the end of the school year, so there's a lot of stuff going on at the kids' school. Um, and just general barbecues and hanging out. So um, this week's adventure video is a little different. Um, it's kind of a rewind. I took a hike in June of 2018 where I did the Northern Tongue Range in Lake George. Um, and this hike was actually pretty interesting because it was solo, which is always fun. It was the Northern Tongue Range, which is part of the Lake George 12 Star, and this was actually the hike that I decided to uh, focus a lot of effort and time into building and growing a, a YouTube channel. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. Um, next week we'll return, we'll have actually a, a really cool Father's Day hike um, video. Until then, enjoy this, it's the Northern Tongue Range. Here I am at the uh, trailhead to Five Mile Mountain, the northern end of the um, Tongue Range in Lake George area of the Adirondacks. Um, solo hiking today, should be a good time. We're gonna hit Brown, Huckleberry, and then Five Mile, come back, and uh, hopefully we'll have a great day. So come along with me while we have some fun. Trail starts off with a nice easy grade, um, pretty standard for Adirondack shales, big boulders in the way and stuff like that, but um, this is not too bad. Trail register is just a bit further back that way, so we're still early in the hike, but uh, this is nice. Made it to the junction here. Um, wind's picking up a little bit, but no big deal. Uh, if we head out that way, we go to Deer Leap, it's about a mile out that way. Um, some epic views out that way. Um, but we're gonna head up this way first and make our way to um, Five Mile Mountain. It's about three miles from here. Um, when we come back down, because we're just doing it out and back. So when we come back down, we will swing over that way um, and check out Deer Leap. I hadn't been out there before, so uh, definitely worth the adventure. I don't know if you can see through the trees, but there's a gap here big enough so you can start seeing some uh, other hilltops in the area. Kind of cool. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what we see when we finally get up to the top. Must be a, a tasty tree full of bugs. Woodpeckers went to town on it. So yeah, we're making our way up Brown Mountain. The, the, the trail is nice and easy. Um, small bits of elevation gain, really nothing, nothing to be worried about at all. Um, so far this, this is a really good hike for um, Inexperienced hikers, new hikers, um, people with littles, you know, little kids, if they want to get out, this is a really good hike for it. Um, the unfortunate thing is, I'm first out on the trail this morning, which means I'm getting all of the uh, spider webs across the eyes, so um, that's a bummer, but it's to be expected, I guess. Uh, place is gorgeous, as always. I love my Adirondacks, so uh, come on, we're almost to the top of Brown. A little uh, side path. From the main trail I followed down here. We start to get our first good views of 
the rest of the Lake George Mountains. Um, if you can see through the trees, that mountain right in front of us is Black Mountain. You can tell there's a, uh, it's a fire tower slash weather station up there. Um, so it's a pretty distinctive feature. Um, and as we travel a little south down that range, you'll be able to see Buck Mountain as well. Um, one of my favorites in the Lake George area. So uh, based off of the contours of the land, it looks like we're either at the top of Brown Mountain or um, there's maybe one little push to go a little bit higher, but it seems like we're at the, the height of land up here. So um, quite nice. I would say that last little quarter of a mile was actually the steepest part of the trail and it's still not that bad. Um, just take your time. You can do it. I know you can. But uh, we have more adventure today, so stay tuned. Wouldn't you know it, as I came off of that little spur over to the ledge, I see there's another little spur trail across the way. And kapow. There we go. We are now at the top of Brown Mountain in the Northern Tongue Range. Do you hear that? So I wanted to show you something that's in this clearing. If you look, you can see this stuff goes forever. It's very important to notice that because in about two months, this right here, these are blueberries. This is going to be a huge batch of blueberries. So, nice little snack if you're uh, coming up here in the beginning of August or so. Enjoy. So. Uh, I've arrived at the Tongue Mountain lean-to and uh, we're just about to the summit of Huckleberry Mountain. Um, but yeah, we're about 2.6 miles into the day and this seemed like a really nice resting place um, to grab up a snack, you know. Um, you know, behind me you can see the lean-to. Standard Adirondack design. It's in great shape. Um, uh, this looks like a really nice place to just spend the night. Um, I can't see why anybody wouldn't want to. But we have a standard fire pit here, real close to the lean-to, so you can keep yourself warm. And if we look out that way, I'll show you some more video in a bit. But uh, you start to see the Adirondack Mountains, the high peaks, out to the northwest there. So, um, pretty good time. We're going to get a snack. We're right into the trail register. And... Uh, do some exploring. So stay tuned. So this lean to, like many lean tos in the area, comes with an outhouse and it doesn't have a door. So when you have to get up and take your morning constitutional, this is your view. Not bad, not bad at all. Some deer tracks, they like to come through here apparently. And since it rained yesterday, um, the ground is extra soft, so we get to see nice signs of that. We made it to Huckleberry Mountain, the summit. We're gonna come up here, um, climb a little bit, to get to the highest part of land. <clears throat> if 
pretty cool. Let's get up here a little bit more. There's trees in the way. That's a bummer. The tree ate me. Come around. There we go. The true summit of Huckleberry. Look around. Not many views, but still an excellent day to be out in the ADKs. We're on my way to a uh, Five Mile Mountain, and I uh, just met up with a guy who said that um, he was not able to find a sign over there, so. We'll see, we'll check it out. But there's a little offshoot, a little spur trail to another um, open area where you can kind of see some mountains through the trees. Again, that's Black Mountain. You can tell there's the uh, tower on it, so good stuff. The hike from Huckleberry to Five Mile, not so bad. It's actually, today's been a great day. A little bit of up and down, but overall you've been walking on this ridge the, the entire time, so a lot of fun. Um, We'll head up the trail a little bit and see what we see. There you go. And this is why we do this. This is why we come out here, pound miles, break our knees with all the elevation gains and loss. This is it. It's gorgeous. What a perfect day. So you got Black Mountain right there on the uh, right side. And then beyond that, you start to see the greens in Vermont. Um, what a fantastic view. Right below there, that's Lake George. I think the, those, that cluster of islands right there is called the Mother Islands, I believe. Um, lucky to be alive, folks. Lucky to be able to enjoy this. And I highly recommend, if you can, get out. Go on an adventure. Walk in the woods a bit. And a hop, skip, and a jump a little further away. And ba bam More views. It's so good. Well, um, I made it almost to the junction um, from... It's a three-way junction between five mile uh, the Clay Meadows Trailhead and Fifth Peak and uh, the guy I met, he's right, there's no sign. So uh, we'll head back up, but um, right where I took the picture of, uh, or the video of Buck Mountain, um, that's the height of land, so I would presume that's the top, um, and we'll go from there. Yeah. We summited, uh, I'm feeling good, it's a great day, so we'll head back down, uh, or up then down and maybe take a little jaunt over to Deer Leap. We'll see how it goes. Hey kids, look what I found. Boom. There she is. So, on the way back from where I was eating my sandwich, I saw a very difficult trail, like it was hard to see. But I saw it off to the left as I was going towards uh, Huckleberry Mountain. And I looked to try and find it, or follow it rather, and it led up to a huge outcropping which is where you find the top of Five Mile Mountain. So there it is, folks. We made it. Always important to keep your eyes open, your wits about you. What a great day. I'm glad I found it. I'm feeling really good right now. Um, yeah, fantastic. Enjoy. Just for uh, 
your record. This is what you see when you're coming from Huckleberry to Fifth. And it's very hard to see the trail that we just passed. But if I turn around and show you, come through, and you'll see, there's the trail. And that's where you go to the top of uh, Five Mile Mountain. So, um, yeah, don't miss it, guys. <laughs> You'll be sad. All right. We made it back to the junction. Uh, we can go 0.6 miles that way to go back to the car. Or... We're gonna go about a mile that way and check out Deer Leap. Um, here it's got some good views and uh, that's why we're out here, right? Have a good time and enjoy ourselves and see what we can see. So we're gonna head that way and um, check out Deer Leap. So far the trail out to Deer Leap is a lot of down, so we're losing elevation, which is perfectly fine. The only bummer is when you're coming back up out you know you have to regain that elevation so um I, although it is not a big deal the trail is nice and soft uh, a lot of duff on the ground so um take take very cautious steps when you're going down because it's slippery a little bit but uh trails wide well defined looks good and i'm happy to be on it made it to a uh, deer leap the end of the trail as they say and yeah it's uh it's pretty incredible um you see some really nice nice views down here um, let's go right to the edge looks like there's a little fire area down here I'm not sure you're supposed to have fires but people have had fires down here right there check it out oh man Definitely worth the extra walk. Uh, there's some downs, some, some ups, some flats, some more ups, some more downs. So, uh, pretty standard Adirondack trail. <laughs> but not not any uh, switchbacks over there. But uh, yeah, it's gorgeous out here. Definitely worth the walk. Make sure you check it out if you come out this way. that's the video hope you guys enjoyed it uh, if you could do the YouTube thing like comment subscribe share uh, we're trying to hit a mini goal of 250 subscribers by the time I do my August through hike of the Northville Placid Trail so your help is greatly appreciated and until next week get outside and try and do something awesome every single day thanks a lot